mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. I didn't get any bad vibes from him, uh, and I know that that's always the real signal. And I've been selling his book now for many years, Bloodlines of the Illuminati, Fritz Springmeyer. One of the only places you can actually get it is at Infowars.com. And when I first read this a decade ago or so, I'm going to be frank with you. I met Fritz when he was here in Austin uh, on local TV, down at the station, and met him at another uh, conference event once. And I believed he believed a lot of it, but... I, even though I snuck into Bohemian Grove and things, and I first met him right after I snuck in there, I still had trouble believing it. Since then, so much, he was the first guy I heard talking about the royal family of England not really being German, but being from Transylvania. And then, uh, you know, really being Arabic and all this stuff, uh, uh, or, or uh, Sephardic. And, 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 and then, now that's on national news now. Uh, so just a lot of really wild, wild stuff. And then over the years, so much of it, no matter how wild, has turned out to be true. Now, imagine Fritz. He had, I don't know how many books out, everywhere he went, selling tons of them. I know we were selling a lot. I happen to know the publisher. I knew they were selling them. You know, he would have no reason to bomb a porno store or whatever and then rob a bank. And I remember him saying, they're breaking in my house, they're trying to set me up. I remember seeing it in the news, they'd been raiding him and stuff. And then, boom, they grabbed him, put him in jail. Now, remember, the government has a 99, 98% conviction rate with the feds. And he, he, he's on probation, he's been in jail for many years, he's lost a lot of weight. Uh, I just saw him on Skype a minute ago. He looks better than he did just a few weeks ago. In the one video I've seen of a little presentation he did, he'll be back again. We've got to be careful how much he gets into today. But he's agreed, what he wants to talk about is who he really is versus the lies of places like Wikipedia. And what happened to him, you know, what he can say about prison, and wh where he sees the world, what, seven, eight years after being incarcerated. But they can do this to anybody. They can plant drugs on yours truly, or put horrible things on my computer, or, God forbid, kill my family and say I did And so Fritz Springmeyer joins us via video Skype. Um, Fritz, for people that don't know who you are, you know, a lot of people that have been into the conspiracy, into reality, they, of course, know who you are. Over the years, I've said, you know, they, they've said, where's Fritz Springmeyer? Where's Fritz Springmeyer? Where's Fritz Springmeyer? Or why don't you get his wife on? We've tried, as you know, many times to get her on, but she obviously couldn't because she didn't want him to do stuff to you in jail. Now you've been out a while, but obviously, uh, you know, even Freya Ricky Ross, who started speaking out against government drug dealing, now they're trying to throw him back in jail. So well, I want you to be very careful here today. We appreciate you giving us the first big interview that I know of. Correct me if I'm wrong. Good to have you here, Fritz. Tell us who you are, a brief snapshot of your life. Uh, you know, I know they said you weren't a West Point graduate. I actually went and looked it up in their roles. There's your photo. There you are. But the point is, they've really attacked you. You hit some things that really scared them. Was it, was it the Transylvanian bloodline? Is it the satanic rituals? I mean, why did they come? But we'll get into who you are, what happened in prison, why they came after you, you think, and, and, and now what you see in the world. Wow, that's a lot of questions. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do with them. Uh, first, who am I? Uh, from For myself, the image I have is that someone who's trying to model Christ. Uh, he's my role model, and that's, that's all that really matters about my life is that I be Christ-like. Um, all the labels that the system tries to slow, uh, uh, the, the system is labeling people right now, uh, and their computer programs carry these labels. Like, for instance, two-thirds of the blacks in major cities are labeled as affiliates of gangs or gang members, you know. And so there's all kinds of labels that have been slapped on me. But the only label that I would want to be identified with is somebody who's trying to follow Christ. Um, my life's been unusual. 
my father had the goal of helping save the world. He was an agricultural expert, and he went around the world, living in many, many third world countries, and trying to help them become self-sufficient. He made a career out of that. And he passed on the concept of trying to save the world to me. He said, you know, he, he said that if you're going to live life, when you leave it, leave it, uh, the world a better place than what you found it. You know, sort of like that Boy Scout thing is when you go camping, leave the, the site better than what you found it. And I've, uh, I think uh, I have uh, honestly tried to do that and, and accomplish that to some degree. Um, <clears throat> why were they kicked off at me? I think it was a it was a combination of a whole bunch of things that I did. But one of the things that they were really sensitive about was the mind control, the trauma based mind control. You'll notice that I. I put out three books on it with about 40 pages of the actual codes that they use on the uh, on the slaves. And once you have read those books and you're familiar with the codes, you can sit there and watch television and see them manipulating these total mind-controlled slaves left and right all around us. Um, and people are constantly uh, telling me that, you know, after they got in touch with my information now that now they realize what's going on around them i another thing uh as far as yeah, that's the book how to how to create a totally undetectable mind control slave which now they admit everything on tv is layers of programming depending on how programmed you are and just someone watching tv since they were a small child they are under a form of mind control and actually scientifically even bbc admits in a lower brainwave function than we were just 50 years ago the public in general is in a trance yes people sit in front of their televisions in a trance um in, in a sense they're almost worshiping that that uh altar their their television altar um so true uh what you just said and of course your your listeners have heard a lot of this so, uh, you know, um, I'm not telling them probably anything that they're not already familiar with. Uh, the, uh, let's yeah, see. but you were a trailblazer. How did you discover all that? So that made them really angry at you. Yes, uh, I kind of bumped into the whole thing. I, I view myself as a historian, not as a conspiracy theorist. And uh, I was doing a massive amount of research into the elite you know because we are now a government of the power elite by the power elite and for the power elite and i was i was researching them to expose them and i had the privilege of uh, meeting four people that had been teamed up in the illuminati to be a, a four-person team that were trying to get out and they pointed me in the right direction on a lot of things. I had to do most of the research myself, but because they pointed me in the right direction, it uh, really helped me. And then that that's how I got into the mind control. By the way, just a segue, I, I, was, I ran into a famous person um, a few weeks ago and, and had dinner with them, and they point blank told me about... Illuminati rituals and Hellfire Club and stuff, but then said, I'm not going to talk about that on your show, maybe sometime. So, so the point is, we know these things existed and do exist, but I mean, you're sitting there having dinner with a well-known famous person, and they're just point blank telling you all about it. Uh, it's just incredible. And to find out that most of the people that are, are part of Oxford in any of the elite clubs are actually taken to the caves, engage in rituals. I mean, it's just so widespread. You know, when I grew up in Dallas, people tried to recruit me uh, into, and I'm talking about with wealthy people, into occultic stuff. This this stuff is rampant. Yes, it is. It's it's everywhere, and once you can, uh, once you're familiar with what it looks like and smells like, you see it everywhere. I just, I've become almost numb to the uh, to it. I walk around and I see it all around me, and I, it it doesn't even 